Drop your weapon! British out of the way! Hiya, hot stuff. Sorry to keep you waiting. So what's the buzz, baby? Tell me what's a happening. I'm so glad you asked, baby. I have to meet my contact, Agent Sergei. He says he's got vital information for me. Unfortunately, he fears they may be on to him, so he and I can't be seen together. And I should care because... I'm not exactly KGB Employee of the Month, Crypto. They may well have a hit squad out looking for me. Before I make contact with Sergei, anyone on my tail must be shaken or eliminated. Oh, I'll stick to your tail, all right. I figured. Although you do stand out in a crowd, that's what gets a disguise. This inside man of yours, what's he found that's worth risking his life to get to you? Sergei feels as I do, that someone or something has perverted the KGB and even the Soviet government. And people who ask why have had a troubling tendency to disappear. Hmm, Soviet dissidents disappearing. You're right, that is weird. Look, can you really trust this guy, Sergei? I mean, how do we know he's not playing both sides? I trust him implicitly. Sergei and I, we have a history. Uh-oh. Look, not that I wouldn't love to ride your tail to Soho, but I just don't get why you need me to play bodyguard. Have you any idea how many KGB agents there are in Albion right now, all because of you? Given all the heat you've brought down on my investigation, it's the least you can do. So let's say I help you out. What's in it for me? Aside from your bewitching company, of course. A piece of your mothership. Sergei has agreed to procure it for you in exchange for your help in this matter. How does that sound? Like a gas. Although I would have done it for your company. Let's go. Stay with me, spaceman. You're not here for sightseeing. Don't make me shoot you. I barely know how to use this gun. Look sharp! KGB agents, dead ahead! Forget these mood lines! Let's keep moving! Heaven's an alien! Cease moving! Do it! We've been spotted! Get to the next crypto!
I have lost target. I used to be. Where are you going, Crypto? Follow me. Wonderful. Now, Ponce and these men are here, too. What's going on? I'm putting you out of the You're such a gentleman, Crypto. Walking me to my car? Your car? Oh, wait a minute. Well, what about your pal, Sergei? You said he was meeting us here. Oh, no. Sergei's in Canal Side. I just needed to be certain we'd shaken off any KGB tales. But the coast looks clear. This would be an excellent time to call your saucer. My saucer? You didn't say anything about my saucer. What do you need that for? Because you won't be able to keep up with me on foot once I start driving, silly. Besides, the KGB will surely bring out their heavy artillery soon, so you may want to even the odds with a little air support. You understand, don't you? Yeah, I get it. You just want me for my saucer. And your bewitching company. What about what I was after? It's been arranged. A piece of your spaceship has been hidden nearby. Here are the coordinates. Okay, okay. Just give me a second to get it here. Thank you, Tovarish. I'll wait for you to take off.
That's her contact. Smarmy looking bastard. Damn it, Crypto Focus. She's just a chick, a human chick. You barely know her. A hideous, repulsive human chick who smells really good. No, no, focus, damn it. I found what I was after. Just thought I'd say goodbye. I might not see you for a while. Good hunting, spaceman. And try not to get yourself killed. Good hunting, spaceman. And try not... Mmm, yowza. Be 
your service. If you think I appreciate it, must have been a Elok Voodle, Lord of the Sacred Crutch. It is good to be somewhere different for a change. So tell me, Shammy, how things been? All quiet on the Eastern Front? Not quite. We seem to have a government mole amidst our midst. Nobody ever told me cults were so high maintenance, although it is kind of flattering. Nonetheless, we are in need of your talent for disposing of inconvenient obstacles discreetly. Discreetly? Ah, oh, man. It's Super Weapon O'Clock. What do you got for me? We have finally discovered the key to the weapon. Alien DNA. What do you think I'm made of? Musk sticks? Not pure on DNA, something else, something very, very aggressive. We will need very many alien artifacts to make it work. Another gather the berries quest. You want me to slay a dragon while I'm at it? Okay, keep your panties on. I'll find your mole and take care of him discreetly. You may have to go undercover to rat him out, but do not upset the hippies. Their nerves are a bit raw. Revelade with Troll, it's a bitch. Now I gotta tiptoe, too. This mission just keeps getting better and better. Far out, even for me. If I were a lord of the sacred crutch, where would I be? Vegas? The sacred crutch, where would I be? Vegas? Hail, Arth Voodle, Lord of the Sacred Crutch. He may be an alien god, but like Arc Voodle can't ignore us forever, yeah? Religious fervor's like the ultimate buzz, man. And so cheap. He may be an alien god, but like Ark Rudel can't ignore us forever, yeah? Do you think Ark Rudel could like tell these cultists to shower or something? Hello? I'm trying to be aroused here. 
I'm like totally feeling groovy, man. Arc Voodle's far out, baby, yeah. If I were a lord of the sacred crutch, where would I be? Vegas? Good thing this is fashionable, or I think it was weird. This Arc Voodle cult sure has a galvanizing effect on its members. Perhaps we can use Arc Voodle to regain the colonies. It might be a bit too late for India, though. Oh no, they realise I'm not the pill-popping degenerate I claim to be. Help! Don't you dare harm us, Mitch. And I was pulling off the irascible rascal act so well. Damn you, Arc Voodle! Arc Voodle? Right. Yeah. And what's he got to do with our undercover operation? Arc Voodle, Voodle. Lead the way. Run for your life! Salutations! Shammy, we gotta stop this radio show. We can't have people freaking out about aliens. My life's already inconvenient enough. You think looking this good just happens by itself? Why do you think I'm on the show if not to save your figurative bacon? Please, relax. There's gotta be something I can do about the UFO crazies who are gonna call the station. You know, something... Explosive. All you need to do is disrupt them. These people always use public phones. But the DJ will announce their location at the beginning of each call. They should be easy to find. Then I get to make with the annihilation. Got it. Violence is not the only path, my son. You need only disrupt them. Their deaths are not necessary. Yeah, yeah, I heard you the first time. Listen, you do your thing and I'll do mine, capiche? All right, time to listen in, find the crazies, and take them down. Make sure to get the calls off the air before they betray any conclusive evidence. It will not be hard for me to discredit them once they have disappeared. Welcome back. You've tuned into our newest program, Alien Overlords, Myth or Reality. We want to hear from you, our listeners. The 
first, let me introduce a man of some note, Mr. Guru Shamalama, leader of the relatively recent Ark Voodle phenomenon. Tell us, Mr. Guru, why should we worship this Ark Voodle? Michael Kane, not bloody bad. Shame about the teeth. No boundaries. Let's go on. He who accepts our truth and has heard the Lord and sexual savior can achieve unprecedented sexual prowess and prosperity in all matters of death growing. His rich focus includes the planet of the Huris, where he seduced a race of white regent from space. Fascinating. And time for our first caller. Jeff from Soho Bridge. Hello, Jeff. What's the bus? Do you have a testament about our Boodle to share with us today? Oh, it's a bloody fire. Space is the opposite of space rock. You mean space rock? No, it's a big floating rock. I got a very big rock. Oh, it's a trick. But Diamond's quoting on it. Tell me, I need to go to the lawyer. some trouble for our gooder some weeks back when he escaped from a local mental institution. Perhaps the Lord has managed to cry him away from the rec room phone. Fascinating. Astounding. Stay tuned for more alien overlords, fact or fiction. Our next call is Robert from Warman House. Tell me, Robert, you're not a movie, are you? Uh, no, I'm a public servant. Much of a muchness these days, eh? But what's your reason for calling? Astral projection, visitation. I get you football. Ten years ago when I was right now. Hello? Hello? Off again. Who think you'll be having terrible luck with colors? Dead him. I bet his sample was nothing more than dog poo frozen in a buggy. Our next caller is Cynthia from Hyde Park. Welcome to the show, Cynthia. And for God's sake, please be sane. Ron, it's a well-known fact that we do have to be able to do it. We're not meant to be quick to deal with the idea that there are forces greater than ourselves. Besides, we're supposed to be the opposite of the bearded father in the sky. Stand in judgment of our every move. Yes, and Robert, words have come from. They've vanished. Yes, I've been on the right. And so if you, Cynthia, are safe, one can assume you have not encountered it. What the It's a... Oh my god, what is that?
Where's the bleed? Ah. 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 How is anybody supposed to take the Labour Party serious? I mean, really, they've got Labour right in the name! And we're back, on behalf of the management of this station. I'm not a fan. Hello? Yes. Oh! Shh! What's going on? I walk Nazis! Space Is it the old one? I see. I see. Salutations! My life's... Welcome back. You've tuned into our newest program, Alien Overlords, Myth or Reality. We want to hear from you, our listeners. But first, let me introduce a man of some note, Mr. Guru Shamalama, leader of the relatively recent Ark Voodle phenomenon. Tell us, Mr. Guru, why should we worship this Ark Voodle? Because Ark Voodle is Lord of the Sacred Crutch. His benevolent love knows no boundaries. Please go on. He or accepts Ark Voodle as his personal lord and sexual savior and achieve unprecedented sexual powers and prosperity in all matters of the groin. His recent conquests include the planet of the Huris, where he seduced a race of white raisins from space. And so for our first call, Jeff from Soho Bridge. Hello, Jeff. What's the vibe? Do you have a testament about our photo to share with us today? Hello? Hello? Jeff seems to have been cut off. Perhaps I must consider you my friend of this Jeff before. He caused some trouble for our Hooter some weeks back when he escaped from a local mental institution. But afterwards, he managed to pry him away from the rec room phone. Fascinating. Astounding. 
Stay tuned for more alien overlords, fact or fiction. Our next caller is Robert from Parliament House. Tell me, Robert, you're not a loony, are you? Uh, no, I'm a public servant, actually. Much of a must this these days, huh? Sure. What was your reason for calling? Astral projection? Visitation? I guess the football was Ten years ago when I was... Having terrible luck with colors. Then again, I bet his sample was nothing more than dog poo frozen in a buggy. Our next caller is Cynthia from Hyde Park. Welcome to the show, Cynthia. And for God's sake, please be sane. Rod, it's a well known fact that people have encountered the baby of Duke and Joey's Yes, yes, we're not meant to be with the idea that there are people greater than ourselves. Cynthia? Cynthia? Oh. No, not another one. I'm getting thoroughly... Right, Buddha. Seems to me we need some new Slade devotees. <laughs> Any ideas? We cord paper to streets with promotional flyers. The only problem is that the local art scene is kind of dull. We need something truly groovy. Yeah, I can see how that's a problem here. I know! The freak! He could do it! The freak? What are you getting me into here? I need you to go to Bay City and find the freak. His groovy art skills are just what we are needing. Alright, Bay City, coming up. <laughs> <laughs> 
Where do I find him? He usually hangs out in Hushbury, across from Golden Gate Park. Voodle speed, son of Voodle! Save me, please! Right. Hmm. Morning, Pons and B. You rang? Hmm? What's that? What have we? No, no. Ah! <laughs> 
Sacred herb pipes upon my holy, if indestructible, image appease my righteous fury by destroying several of their number. Hmm. Ring up the cannabis! Are you a flasher? Alien! I say, you see, you can't trust national security to labor! Here, what's that, Scotsman? Attention. Location. They are in our very midst.
Know my pain. Shama Lama tells me you got some groovy art skills. Want a gig? No way, man. I'm bombed. I'm no good for anybody right now. Okay, I'll bite. What's wrong? And what do I gotta do to get my poster? I wouldn't want him anyway, man. Everybody hates my work. Is this a, a private pity party, or can anyone join? You don't understand me, man. No one does. I'm tortured. Right. Your situation is utterly unique in human history. Look, aren't your paintings all over Hashbury? If people hated them, they'd paint over them or pee on them or something. Ha! You want to know what people think of my art? Fine, I'll show you. Lots of people love your art. You're living the dream, baby. It's freaking inspiring. Oh, man. Who knew people could get so into art? This is incredible. I've never felt so legitimate, so loved, so totally accept- Moment's over. Move on. Now knock off this self-pity and paint me a damn poster. That's a tall order at the moment, man. It's tough for me to put my hands on art supplies. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Nudie Max, confiscation. You know, but the voodoo will come through for me, right? You can find this stuff for me. Show them they can't repress art, man. What do you say? Yippee. People should love my work! I'm a golden god!
Is someone there? We will... Huh? Trigger fingers feel Show your tongue! Thank <laughs> you. 